Hello guys, welcome back. Today we have an exciting video. I have seen so many people say that this foundation is incredibly full coverage. It's pretty decently priced at just under $20. And I wanted to try out a few more things from this line. So it is Zara's new makeup line. You can't even see the packaging. It's all just so white. So they have foundation, they have bronzers, highlighters, blush. They have a bunch of different stuff. So I wanted to specifically focus on the face products. I tried to buy a little bit of everything that they had. Anywho, I hope you guys are excited for this video and excited to see what this foundation looks like. I have been honestly so curious ever since I've seen people post about it and I'm just really excited to try it out. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that post notification bell so you can get notified. I'm doing two videos a week for you guys at least if you're lucky maybe three we'll see but yeah let's just go ahead and dive on into it first I'm gonna take this gray lash y'all and get my flyaway why not it's not necessarily flyaways but I just blow dried my bangs and they're acting crazy so this helps keep them in check you see how that just like toned that down people have been posting all about this Zara makeup line and it is pretty decently priced but it's kind of crazy that a clothing brand is coming out with makeup I mean it's not that crazy because you have like Valentino Gucci you have all these other people who are expanding into to the makeup realm too or people that have been in it for like years you know but Zara is the newest clothing brand with a makeup line and I'm very excited to try it because I've seen some people try out the foundation and it looks good we're gonna see how I like it I will say I had the absolute hardest time trying to figure out a shade I don't even think that these are gonna match me I did open them up just to kind of look at them I haven't even put them on my hand and I have no idea which one's gonna work <laughs> They look I don't know I it was hard for me to find the shade I thought would work for me online so just be weary of that but I am gonna swatch all these so you can see them that way at least you know these three colors what they look like and kind of go off of that so of course I did use my regular Laura Mercier pure canvas blurring primer to try this out because I want to make sure I'm using what I know works well you know what I mean so this is the packaging it's just white and then the Zara is like embossed on it you can see it right there it's just slightly raised I don't know if they sell this in stores I'm guessing they do I have not been in a Zara store in I don't know how long since I lived in Georgia maybe so this is the packaging now when you get it it has a slanted bottom and it's gonna sit like that it's gonna sit like slanted so if that bothers you just know but packaging is really nice you have a little bit of Zara right here you have the shades on the end and then it is a pump and a frosted glass bottle so these are $19.90 a piece and you get 1.02 fluid ounces so these are the three shades that I got Ooh, this is looking like it's gonna be the best bet for me but I I could not tell online you guys I had the absolute hardest time I usually have a pretty hard time picking out shades but this time was just really hard so let's just go in and swatch ah and they have the cap where you can turn it to lock it for travel that's really nice this is great packaging Zara great job so far a plus a plus for packaging I think the only thing with the slanted packaging that I'm noticing is if I were to like go quickly and try to set my foundation on the the table it's gonna fly because you got to make sure it's just slanted right on there and if not oh even the lid won't go on right it's just gonna be one of those learning curves but it's okay but I want to show you guys all these colors so okay and that was too light Ooh, I'm gonna have to do a little mixing action all right let me show you so here are the three shades that I got okay not so bad they look extra extra dark in the packaging but we will see so we're starting from the top to the bottom the top is w929 middle is is W923 and the bottom is C918. I don't know. I think I could probably go with the middle, honestly. I think the C one's a little too light, but that's going to be good to like mix, you know, if I need to. So let's go in with the middle shade, which is W923. Like I said, I do have my primer on. So we're just going to keep that in mind. And I'm first going to go in with a foundation brush. I'm just going to use my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing Foundation, which I love this little foundation brush. And I'm just going to pump it. We'll do half of my face. Now, everyone says this is super full coverage. So we're going to dive in. I want to do half my face, and I just did way too much product, but that's okay. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is warm. Hold on. Let me take a little bit of that C18 color mixing action to help kind of neutralize that. <laughs> that is super warm. Wow. This has really good coverage. Feels nice on the skin. Let's do a true half half. I normally like to drag things down my neck anyways because I like the look of like how your neck and chest look all seamless together. Does that make sense? I'm gonna take it back to my ear too. It doesn't feel heavy at all and it is incredibly full coverage. 
and it's not accentuating pores texture the shade is definitely a little bit off for me i'm definitely gonna have to mix what i have because that's just like way too yellow warm hopefully me bronzing up the neck and stuff it'll work but with concealer and stuff we should be okay i mean even though i'm sitting here like blending more and more just to make sure it's all worked in it's not showing any redness like i'm super impressed I do like that it works really well with a brush because you guys know I've been gravitating towards brush recently. So I do like that it works well with that. Wow, it's just like effortless. I mean, it looks really good on the skin. I like it a lot so far. Like it's not emphasizing any texture, any pores. I am genuinely impressed with that coverage. And like the actual formula of it, it is really nice. Those are the foundation. I have the Luminous Creamy Concealer. But we're gonna take this concealer, same kind of packaging, but a clear bottle and a doe foot. I feel like I'm gonna scratch my eye. All right, we're gonna see if this is good coverage. It looks like it's gonna be kind of light coverage. It says that this concealer, it's a luminous creamy concealer, a creamy dewy formula that is easy to blend. This product provides supple medium coverage with a luminous satin finish. Right, let's blend out this concealer because we've had it sit in here for a minute, which should be fine because it's more voluminous. You guys know how I feel about my concealer. I will say this does look nice. And it works really well with the foundation. I think this, honestly, I, I wouldn't necessarily use like right for my under eye, but I would totally use this in the center of my face. I do think it's really pretty. Like you can just see how it brightened up my under eye, but I like a little bit more. That's just personal preference though. That's with anything that I try. You know what I mean? Like some things might not be my taste, but it might be yours. I do think it looks gorgeous. Like it doesn't look heavy underneath the eyes at all. I do want to apply this down the center of my face and then I'm going to use my regular Too Faced on my actual eyes so we'll go ahead and put this on the center and blend it out i do like the doe foot it holds a lot of product and then i'm going to take the Too faced born this way in natural beige right here see that's more my color too i'm going to blend this all in first i'm doing my face so we don't get the Too faced mixed with the zara one it kind of just blends effortlessly highlighted the face a bit and i'm just kind of dabbing it in and now we're going to go in with the Too Faced and give a little bit more coverage for that under eye area. I mean, it definitely had medium coverage, but I just like a little bit more, you know? I love this little It Cosmetics airbrush concealer brush for the inner corner of my eye. It just works so well. It's like small and just gets right in there. You can definitely tell that the concealer has luminosity because I just got quite a bit dewier after applying that to the center of my face. So we're going to set that in place but before we do i have another product they have multi color sticks they have some bronzer ones a blue one and then you have these little blush tone ones you can use this on your eyes and your lips it says makeup stick with creamy texture available in three finishes matte pearl and glitter product made with hyaluronic acid immediate hydrating effect this creamy texture formula can be easily applied to cheeks lips eyes and body i got this one i would get the shimmer this is manifesto conquer color stick what I'm gonna do, let's just swatch it first. Yeah, this is definitely shimmery. I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics highlight and blending brush. I love It Cosmetics brushes, if you can't tell. Over the years, I've really just, you know, grown my collection with it, but I love this brush to apply cream blush because it does not move my foundation. So I'm going to just use this to apply. I think it's too shimmery for me. I have larger pores that I don't wanna emphasize, but it does add nice color. We'll try this maybe on our lips because I can tell that shimmer is going to make my pores say hello. And I don't want them to do that. I do think it's a pretty color though. Definitely would just need it in a matte. I don't, I don't know how I ended up getting a pearl. I just need to pay attention. But I am gonna go in with Patrick's The One Size Sugar BB Cream Blush in the Very That palette. I have been loving it. And I know in my Sephora haul, I thought it was too light, but no ma'am, it is not. This cream blush is really nice with this brush too. I have a feeling I will be hit and pan on the cream blush before anything else. It really just gives the most beautiful flush to the cheek that's nothing too crazy and it blends really well and it's more of like a matte cream blush I feel like. 
so I'm just gonna really make sure I press this in and then I'm gonna take my foundation brush and kind of go right here to make sure we're all nice and blended so we're gonna go ahead and set this in place I'm gonna use my Too Faced Peak Perfect powder so so far the hit for me is definitely the foundation that's like the one thing I'm like wow I love this and then setting it like that looks so good concealer is good but of course like i mentioned i have other ones i would gravitate towards like the Too faced one i just i don't know man i want a Too faced born this way kick right now but i also love one by dior givenchy which those are obviously more expensive so that's kind of like the con of it but there is other ones that i would rather use you know what i mean i'm just gonna be honest but it's all about personal preference if you like a nice luminous medium coverage concealer i think you'll love that because it definitely added a glow and it blended really well with all the makeup products that i had on my skin i feel like i'm looking very smooth this foundation is really good i'm really liking it so far i did grab a bronzer and a refillable color cheek in number three this was the bronzer Ooh, chic and i like this color i kind of did it on this color now like i said these are all refillable so you can keep the actual palette and just purchase the pan moving forward i really like that i think this compact is like super luxe and sleek and it is magnetized and then you have a really gorgeous mirror 1010 zara i really like it i mean the packaging is kind of boring but i think it's really nice for $19.90, I mean, I, I don't know. It's really easy to maneuver. I'm going to take my Morphe M581. I got the shade Gilded Sunset, so that's this one. And I'm going to just do like a contour bronze situation like I normally do. Ooh, I like it. It's like a little bit of a red undertone, which I feel like red undertones, they're going to look more like a natural tan, you know what I mean? But this formula is really soft and easy to blend. Ooh. Like, I, I don't know how to describe the softness of it. And it's blending really well. I like this color a lot. And I like what it's doing on the face. This is a good one, too, because you can really just build it up. It's not, like, super intimidating where it's very pigmented right off the bat. The one size one is very pigmented. I do like this. It's a little bit harder to work with if you're, like, new. Or even if you've been doing it for a long time. It's just, it can be a lot. It just depends on your taste and, like, what you like. Do you like to build it up? Do you like to have a really pigmented bronzer? Like, what's your vibe? This is very pigmented. And this one's in medium, and I would definitely not go darker than this. If anything, I could probably go a shade down. But this is definitely very forgiving i think this is a really beautiful color probably my favorite bronzer i have tried even out of my sephora haul so far from what i've been playing with i think this one is definitely my favorite and one that i will for sure keep going back to because i i like the way that it looks i think it looks really good okay so this is a highlight palette so they're tinier but you can pop these out and change the colors if you would like or add the same color all over so three different basically highlight colors i would say right that's considered a highlight. This looks like a highlight palette to me, but when I swatched it, it's not very highlight-esque. This is not blush, so I need to go in with a blush first. And I'm going to go in with that same one size palette, vary that, but I'm going to go in with this powder here, and I'm going to put that on. This is very pigmented. You just need a little bit. So we're going to work this out. I'm just using this Real Techniques Duo Fiber. The Zara foundation is working really well when it comes to me blending more and more on top of it. Sometimes foundation will move, and this one is doing really well. I'm going in with this lighter shade in my Anastasia highlight brush, and we'll see what we can get. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely not my favorite color. This is probably my least favorite thing. I think if I were to get a color I liked that would work for me, I would like this more. So if you're able to, I would say go in store. Hopefully they have like samples out and stuff that you can really test out. I think online, it's kind of hard to tell. Like I thought this would be a little bit lighter, something a little bit more glowy, have a nice punch to it, not be so gold and dark. Honestly, that's what we're here for though, right? Like YouTube and stuff is a great way to kind of see colors see what it's looking like so when you go to buy online you have a better idea of what something's going to look like so thank you to social media and reviews so far that's everything that i got from zara and right now so far my favorites are the bronzer and the foundation i think they're 100 percent worth it but i am going to speed through and finish my makeup let you guys watch because i know you guys like to do that and then i'm going to try to put this like on my lips and yeah we'll just we'll see what we can work
All right, guys, we are done with this makeup look. I did go ahead and apply the color stick to my lips, and I really like the way that it looks, actually. I do like this color for lip product. I think I definitely want to put, like, a darker lip liner around it just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension, but I do like the way it looks. And I went straight in just with this product because I'm not going to be using it on my face, <laughs> but if it was a matte one that I could use on my cheeks and my lips, I definitely would, or if I was going to use this on my eyes, I really don't see myself using this on my eyes if I'm being completely honest so I just went ahead and put it on my lips but if you're gonna use it on other parts of your face I would definitely go in with a brush your finger you know one of those things so just keep that in mind but I do really like the way that this looks I think it looks so pretty anywho I finished up my hair my makeup I'm really into like the wing and then extending it in the inner corner I don't know it just feels very like but like I mentioned earlier, I think just my favorites, by far the foundation, I think my skin looks so good with this foundation. You guys, I, I love it. I think it looks awesome. I love the foundation and then I love the bronzer too. I think the bronzer looks really nice and it just, it the color works with my skin really well too. For the foundation, I'm definitely gonna have to find like my right color. It was very hard for me, like I told you guys. In my opinion, that's like the only con that I had. I didn't really enjoy like this little highlighter face trio. I would pass on that again, as well as the concealer. I I would personally pass I will probably still use it like for the center of my face but not my favorite oh I tried out this flower beauty chrome crush pressed pigment so this is in Jade and I tried this in another color in one of my previous videos it has like the same look that you guys saw so if you want a full tutorial I could do that for you I just feel like it's kind of basic so I don't well, I say basic and it's like a full-blown smoky eye but let me know if you guys want to see it but anywho this one I don't love as much as the other one I feel like these could be more if it had a, a nice like base color to it I think they're more sheer like when you get them they do look really pretty but just something is missing otherwise I would say like Maybelline tattoo studio will give you a lot more bang for your buck and it's gonna last all day instead of these I haven't tried out the darker color so I will definitely test that out and like buy my favorites video for the month I'll kind of have that roundup for you but so far the lighter colors they just need a little bit more they need a little bit more color in that base I feel like I think they're just a little too sheer that's just me though I ended up going in with this one called 34th Street this is the same Sephora collection times the lashes and I love them I love them they feel very lightweight I feel like more lightweight than her normal lashes like band wise so I don't know if they're still available because I like reach deep down in my eyelash drawer for these but yeah it says this is a Sephora exclusive but I really like it they're faux mink and they're just really pretty I really like these lashes a lot I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll let you know in the description box or in the comments letting you know how this wore so far like I said I really love the way that it looks I think it looks beautiful the foundation is by far my absolute favorite product out of this whole thing and I'm glad it worked out so let me know in the comments if you've tried this out if not are you like looking to try it or going to try any of these products out from Zara it's definitely different for them to come out with a makeup line but so far I mean it's really good I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one